Terrakuma fans, Charlie with the God Screw Application staff. Got a real quick one for you today. I've got a little nugget for you if you're programming in advanced one touch. You can see right in front of you on my screen here that I've got a program that I busted out in AOT Moshkosh. Just a very simple little program that does a turning, a roughing, and a finishing. Now, uh, awful lot of people that program in AOT at this stage of the game when they're done will touch the machining quit and save button and then touch save and machining. This is perfect, this is great. This is allowing you to actually operate the machine in the advanced one touch mode, which is kind of neat because now you've got your processes right here. You've got the basics of the rotational direction and the, the, the feed information. Plus, I like being able to just touch one of those and touch the process edit and have it open up the uh, AOT file, the PET file for us, and, and everything works really, really quick and happy. However, let's get out of this, get back to our main operating screen where, yeah, okay, so I could hit Cycle Slam and I'm off and running in AOT mode. Now there's a little nugget for you if you didn't know you had this, but it's kind of neat because it takes care of business for you. However, there is a second option that uh, Akuma gives us, and it's really cool because an awful lot of the competition, the other machines, the other brands out there that have conversational assisted programming, they don't necessarily have this particular feature. So I'm going to go back into my PET file where I was programming, and this time, instead of touching machine and quit and save, I'm gonna to touch the word program create. And it gives me the opportunity to give a name for my a specific program. I can tell it whether or not to output all of these uh, different um, options here, such as the setup data. That way it'll populate my tools for me. It'll populate my material for me tool list output, I can put that, it, it makes a DDT file that's savable in the MD1. Now I'm going to touch the word create. Now you notice that I, I selected, let's get back there, I said create instead of create and select. Now the only reason I did that is because I wanted to show you that when you're back here at your main operating screen, if I do a arrow over and touch F1, program select, I've got three tabs up on top that you may or may not have ever noticed before. I'm gonna to touch the program select tab instead of the IGF data select tab. And now I will pick up the program that I just created, a .min file. And as soon as I touch okay, what I want you to do is pay attention to what happens to the graphics behind to the the graphic screen behind me? So when I select a min program, the machine automatically kicks over into standard G code format. So there I've got my program. It's going to do exactly the same thing that it did in IGF, but now I'm I'm operating in standard G code mode. The uh, the opposite of that will work as well. If I were to program select come up to the IGF data select tab and pick up the PET version of that. Oh, it's, it's still open in my uh, program operations. So let's quit, we'll save it. Yeah, everybody's happy. Now let's do it again. Program select, pick up the IGF tab and call it video PET. The machine automatically kicks back over into uh, advanced one touch mode. So that's really awesome. You can run in conversational assisted programming or you can run in G code depending on what you like. Head over heels above some of the other guys that are out there that they just tell you, nope, 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 you got to run in this mode or that mode. So hope this helps you out. Like and subscribe, and if you have any kind of questions or uh, problems, feel free to reach out to your local Gossiger application staff because we are here to help you. Have a good one.